Hi everyone, we're in Los Angeles, we're gonna meet Jin Su, the founder of Kokiri Lab. They have an amazing project called uh, uh, Project Nourished. So, let's see. Imagine you can eat anything you want. It started as a simple experiment and then kind of took off. When you have all these uh, uh, variables that, that eventually lead us to the end of civilization, right? We need to come up with a new solution. So perhaps we could use this technology to uh, better cater our, our new types of foods that we'll be eating in the future. There are tons of things that overstimulate our senses and I think food hasn't really caught up to that. We are trying to essentially create a new type of foods but also uh, create existing foods and replicate them. So essentially there are three different ingredients. So mm -hmm. you're putting these three ingredients together to construct this food. And once has been constructed into this uh, form that contains these three elements, you're eating that. And when you eat it, you can actually feel these, these qualities, attributes of these foods in your mouth. So you're tasting and feeling the texture of this crystal that's floating around. We, we created a stevia uh, that's been infused with carbon dioxide to recreate uh, some of the elements of crystal because we thought that crystal in your mouth would actually feel like a pop. Right now we're focused more on VR, but uh, one of the goals this year is to uh, work on AR um, prototypes that, that actually serve a very specific need. So, uh, we were looking in the areas of uh, uh, therapy as, a, as a, one of the focal points of this experience because uh, ultimately what we're trying to do is help people their entire need and uh, for technologies like this that is still early on that needs uh, mass adoption they're not going to be able to just want to get into it right away so we have to bring a more serious use case to the people that, that want to use it right away, uh, regardless of the cost, regardless of the technology, like they just, they, they're looking for something like this already. There are hundreds of thousands of millions of people that are already in, in search of a solution. So we're gonna go after those people and then eventually uh, hit you know, more mass market as VR adoption grows.